And this one. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. What's up guys, and today we are gonna be going through photos from 2017 which is a year when I started out photography. All of these photos in this video have been taken around two weeks after I started out photography. So this is gonna be probably quite embarrassing to look at many of them and uh, also fun to analyze them and what would I do differently today. And by watching this video, I believe you can take a lot of these tips and uh, avoid mistakes in your own photography and improve your photography. The photos in this video have been taken in Greece roads and uh, yeah, we traveled there with my family around two weeks after I started out photography. And uh, I took a lot of photos there, I think like 4,000 photos in total, most of them were like with the Sony Burst mode. And uh, yeah, then I didn't yet have a, like a niche, or, like what I like to shoot the most, so I was kind of shooting everything. So in this video we're gonna be seeing landscapes, we're gonna see close-up photos. I'm not sure like exactly what kind of photos now there will be, because I haven't seen this in a long, long time. So this is gonna be exciting for both of us. And yeah, I'm excited that uh, you can apply these lessons you learned from here to your own photography. And uh, this might even become a little serious here on the channel if you guys like this. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, start this right away. All right, we've got the first photo here. And uh, this is from the hotel that uh, we were staying. And uh, this is not completely horrible. At this time, I was actually using a preset pack from Peter McKinnon. And uh, that's why I think uh, I started out my edits quite good. So I, of course, did adjust some settings. I feel like with probably the most of the photos, the edit m m won't be horrible. It might be, but uh, I have hope that uh, they are not totally trash. But let's see in this photo. What I can see first, <laughs> it's not sharp at all. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a big, big minus. And at this time, I remember I went immediately to manual mode. I didn't, I wasn't playing around with it, like aperture priority or shutter priority or anything else. I went for manual and uh, that's why I ended up with a lot of like unsharp photos because I didn't really know how to get sharp photos, I guess. And most of the time I probably didn't realize it was unsharp. Yeah, I kind of actually like this being here, this kind of a flag thing. I think I'd probably try it out like rule of thirds, although it's not exactly on the thirds, but like um, I feel like without this it would be much worse. It gives a bit of depth and this foreground here it also gives it a bit of depth, although this one takes a lot of attention I feel like. Um, so that's what I maybe would do different right now. I would be darkening this up more and I would have this maybe a bit close to the thirds. Of course, I'd have this shot much sharper. I wouldn't be shooting this during, during the daylight, it's um, not the best. But overall, I don't think this is total trash photo. It's definitely not like the best photo, but I wouldn't say it's total trash. I give it um, I give it maybe 2 out of 5. Let's give this ratings. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, this one is... Um, this is not good. Not good at all. Yeah, I mean, like, you can already see here, I really effed up the editing part. It looks horrible. I was probably playing up with the luminance a lot in Lightroom and now it looks very bad. Maybe I tried that rule of thirds here. I honestly can't remember at all what I was thinking here. All I gotta say, it's very bad. Maybe uh, one out of ten. <laughs> okay, and our first black and white photo. Okay, so. Um, yeah, well, this ain't good at all. <laughs> uh, well, first, I see that this car is cut here and that's very bad. I for sure would be having a car here instead that would be fixing a lot of the problems in this photo and uh, but I like that I use this one as like um, to have more in depth to, to have more depth in the photo I think that kind of works but I would have this part for sure like uh, more out of focus I think it's a bit too in focus right now and uh, again I don't know where is the focus wandering I think it's here in the, with these cars. Yeah, but um, I think black and white probably was the right choice for this shot. There was really much colors going on. I just would change the car place and I have more out of focus this place right here. I would give this maybe um, 2 out of 10. Okay, and this one is actually quite good. And I've been actually thinking about this shot quite much because this shot it's not that bad. I'm mean, like when you see it, I think uh, you can say it's it's decent. I'd say it's decent. Like um, I wasn't photographing it like you might think that I was actually photographing the boats here, but that was not the case. I was just photographing this here, this uh, ruin here. I guess I still spotted the boats there, but um, this frames the boats really nice. The boat ends in focus because I wasn't photographing that. The ruin isn't really in focus either, I guess. Where I don't know where the focus is, maybe somewhere here. But like it, it does frame this quite well, which is surprising. If I would be 
able to change this right now. I would maybe photoshop them a bit more here, then that would be more centered, but I'd actually give this maybe maybe even a seven. Maybe. Is that too much? Because this is a bit um a bit too broad maybe here, but but I mean I give this a seven. I, I think it's quite good. Alright, then it seems like we have a photo series coming up, so there's three photos uh, of the same place. This was called the Snake Mountain, and um, yeah, um, yeah. Well, what can I say? These are not really good photos. Here is no subject at all. I don't know what I'm really looking at. Here, this thing, whatever this is here, takes way too much focus. Uh, from the photo, I would have it like out of focus. Well, no, I wouldn't have that there at all. And uh, this one is, I think, the best out of these three because of this. Oh, because of these three, <laughs> three. Mm, yeah, but I'd say it's still not that good. Again, like a midday photo, not the best light. Uh, but, but the edit is quite nice, I'd say. Yeah, I mean, this I'm not gonna even tell this. So both zero out of ten, I think. And this one. Let's give it uh, one and a half. And this one, <laughs> oh, this is horrible. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay, well, I have no idea what I have photographed right here. The the edited the sky is absolutely terrible. I have done. I remember I did something with the sky with with Lightroom with those filters, and um, I'm not sure what I have photographed. Maybe the people could be. Um, but then this is taking way too much attention right here. And uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at and there's so many distractions, no really thought in composition. It's a basic tourist photo, but yeah, the sky is the ter most terrible part. Uh, I don't know. I give it 1 out of 10. This one, it has, I guess, the same kind of theme in a way with the sky but it's not as bad and uh, yeah but again I'm not sure what I'm looking at I think I took a photo of this one right here but then I cropped this for Instagram and I cropped it very bad because of now I don't think anybody is actually focusing on this I think everybody is looking at this to be honest I think everybody's very confused on what to look at here yeah I mean the focus is even at the rocks the rocks is taking way too much place here. I don't know. It's just it's, it's it's bad. I just don't want to watch this anymore. I'd say I don't know. I don't even want to give it one one star, half a star, out of ten. All right. Well, that was some of my work from 2017 when I started my photography. There is still many photos to go through from 2017 and from also previous years, and I definitely had tons of mistakes made there. So. Uh, if you want more of these, definitely hit the like button and uh, I will and uh, comment below so I will know that um, you like these videos if you like these videos. But yeah, I had really much fun looking at those old photos and I hope you had too. Maybe you laughed with me a bit. And uh, but uh, the most importantly, I hope you learned something that what mistakes you won't do in your own photography. But yeah, remember to take the lessons from here and apply them to your own photography. In case you'd like to learn way more from my mistakes, especially editing mistakes, make sure to check out my beginner Photoshop course for nature photographers down below. That course will be saving you years of process and making mistakes and uh, yeah, it will get to where you want way faster. By the way, this is not for advanced Photoshop users, this course, this is for beginners, people who have not tried out Photoshop at all and for those that feel like that Photoshop is quite overwhelming and that they don't really know how to, to make their photos much better. And there, there's a link below. If you sign up to the waitlist of the course, you will be using a coupon code for the course. And yeah, remember to hit the like if you like this kind of video that I know to do, do, should I do more of this in the future. And make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and uh, other kind of photography adventures. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed and uh, see you then next time. Bye. I hope my camera was not that terrible with Focusing. I had so much trouble with that. But, but, but. I oh got I hope this reaction was a good one. Imposter syndrome coming. I think this time very little bloopers. I don't really know what to say or where. No. Wait. I guess that might also be a good point that there's no, so not so many bloopers.
Yeah, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm.